Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the new ICOM T10 handheld. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So I'm here at Hamvention 2022 with Will from ICOM and he's going to kind of give us a little bit of information on this brand new HT that they've got out. So Will, tell me a little bit about this thing. Absolutely, Jason. So as you said there in the intro, brand new handheld here from ICOM called the T10. Uh, it is a five watt dual band radio. So uh, five watts of output power on two meters and 440 uh, with a great big loud speaker here, 1500 uh, milliwatts okay. of output power out of this speaker here. Um, another thing that I'm really fond of with this radio is the fact that it's actually built on the frame uh, of some of ICOM's commercial radios, our F1000 series uh, radios that we sell on the commercial side of our business. This is the same platform as those radios use, which means that it is extremely ruggedized, it'll take a licking, keep on ticking. It also <laughs> comes with an IP67 rating, so that means that it's got some uh, uh, protection from particulate ingress, okay. dirt and dust and things like that. And it also means that this radio can be submerged in up to one meter of water for up to half an hour. Oh, wow, wow. It'll come nice. back out and keep on chirping. Okay. So we like that as well. We're seeing it as a great radio for uh, folks that are out on the go, bug out bag kind of things, uh, the emergency uh, you know, backup radio and stuff like that. In addition to just a good, small, lightweight, portable radio to wear on the hip out in the field. Okay, outstanding. Now, give me some idea, what's this thing gonna retail for? Uh, ICOM's MSRP on this radio is about $260. Not course, bad. The Not dealers bad. will get to pick what uh, price they wanna sell it for, so keep your eyes uh, on the, uh, the various amateur radio retailers out there in the world, and uh, I'm sure they'll all be anxious to give, uh, give our viewers here the best possible price. Outstanding. Now, one other question I'm gonna have, because I love digital. Okay. Uh, so I like to interface all kinds of TNCs and things with handhelds uh, in, when I'm out and about. So what kind of interface does this have for headphone and mic? For headphone and mic, it's your uh, pretty typical ICOM uh, dual plug style that you're okay. accustomed to seeing on our handheld radios. Um, it's a little bit different with the T10 here because as I mentioned, we've got that uh, water resistance right. for this radio. So if you, if you look here on the side, you'll notice that those plugs are a little recessed in. And we've right. got, you'll notice here that it looks like something goes over the top of this. Okay. There's a rubber boot that fits over the top of this if you're not using the microphone and actually screws into place to give you a good, uh, solid contact to make sure that we're maintaining that water resistance. So I'm assuming when you put the mic on there, you're just gonna screw it down, it's gonna have some sort of rubber gasket exactly and seal so. everything up? Exactly so. So as I was saying there, you've got the, the microphone and the headphone jack here are recessed down in. Okay. The microphone that we recommend for use with this radio Exactly as you said, it's got uh, it, it's got a, a cutout that fits down into that recess with a um, with a grommet or a um, an O-ring to uh, maintain that seal, and then you thumb screw tighten it down uh, to make sure that it stays good and good and secure to make sure we're maintaining that water resistance there. Fantastic, Will. Thank you so much for taking the time this hey, morning. Absolutely appreciate you stopping by and uh, giving us the opportunity to showcase some radios to your viewers out there. Outstanding, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, seven three. Seventy three, everyone.